Well, police are still at the scene of a stabbing in Claremont that has left one man dead. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell has more on the relationship between the victim and the suspect. Police say the two are extended family members and lived in the same house. Right now, investigators are still trying to piece together why this happened. You can hear police officers trying to calm this man down after they took him into custody. Investigators say they were called to Bowdoin Avenue near Derrick around 2.30 Monday morning. The initial call came out as someone was injured. It later got upgraded to an assault with a deadly weapon call. When officers arrived, they found this 28-year-old man with a knife and blood on his hands. They were able to take him down without any injuries, but then investigators say he began making threats, so they had to put a spit hood over him. He became violent in terms of struggling with the officers. No force was necessarily used to take him into custody, but he was put into a what's known as a spit sock device to prevent him from spitting on the officers. Again, he had a lot of blood on him, um, and he was placed in a wrap device for his own safety. Once they made their way inside of the home, officers found a man who had been stabbed several times. He died at the scene. Investigators say the suspect and the victim are extended family members and had gotten into an argument. Both were living in that house with other residents who were home at the time. A short time later, a 10 News breaking news tracker photojournalist shot this video of a woman who told us she was the victim's fiance. She was visibly emotional as she spoke with officers. Patrol cars and police tape blocked off this section of Bowdoin Avenue for much of the morning as detectives gathered evidence and tried to piece together what happened. Police have not identified the victim. All they will say is that he is 67 years old and he lives in this neighborhood. Reporting from Claremont, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.